Jesus. Kacang nak dap so nong indro. Oh yeah. Now everybody's here. I think he said yes. It seems. <laughs> First a little bit. Repeat after me. Padinzawe Lama Rinpoche. Dagas over Pemi de Yola. Dagas over Pemi de Shungla. ระบบในเย็นเย็นเดียดเย็นบ้านเลยเรียบเร่งเย็นเย็นเดียดเย็นพอดีสันเจียงเดียดไม่เดียดพอไรเย็นสันเจียงเดียดเย็นเมตเต
So, like that, this is the essence of meditation, to meditate like this, to see this. Now, this Dharmakaya awareness itself, when you rest in it in meditation all the time, like the flowing of a river, it's not broken up. In this way, your consciousness, your awareness rests in this without undoing it, without departing from this awareness. You remain. This Dharmakaya awareness, there's nothing else to it except the mind seeing of itself and resting in that continuously, the natural state, the seeing of your own innate, true nature, is the same thing as meditation. It is the same thing as meditation to see your own nature. And the spontaneous action of the arising and dissolving of thoughts. Your mind it thinks all sorts of stuff, doesn't it? Mm. The, uh, the mind thinks uh, it. A thought occurs. But the thought itself is emptiness dissolving into emptiness. And the Dharmakaya, the Dharmakaya awareness, what it is there, always there, from which the thoughts shine, to sit in this admontine seat, recognizing this process as it occurs. A thought arises. As if there were no roof on this room, you could see the sky there, and a bird flies by. The bird, it flies on by and is gone. Having flown away the bird, there's no tracks. No footprints there in the sky, no wing prints from where it flew. In this way, when meditation is occurring, the thoughts leave no tracks like the flight of a bird in the sky. There, in the essence of meditation, there is nothing left of thoughts once they have been thought. All the different thoughts, they arise, they be happening. Having arisen, however, they are instantaneously made of emptiness and gone to emptiness. Watch it happen. In the seeing of this in its moment of occurring, that is the seat to remain in. Like this, each of you, yourselves. Like this, as I have told you. Continuously rest in this natural meditation. Then the mind itself, that thinker of all the thoughts, that's what we mean by the word mind, the thinker of the thoughts. This, it can think of other places, but it's the mind that thinks these things. Mind didn't go there. The other place you have imagined, it didn't come here, however far. Your homeland is far from here. But you can see your house there, your room. Think of it. You can think that right now. But mind did not go there to your home. Your house, it didn't come here to join us. 
In meditation, mm. you can see how the mind does that. All these thoughts, the different places, far and near. Thoughts arise, so a thought comes up, you think it. Then, it having happened, <coughs> the mind, the thinker of the thought, nothing actually happens. There is no thing there that comes to there. And there is nothing that leaves from there. You can think of the lake mm. down there. Mind thinks it clearly, sees it in your mind's eye. But nothing goes from here to there, no mind goes. And the lake isn't in here. Look at mm. how you do that, how and what happens when you do that. Man, all the things he thinks, they're all happening in his mind. All the thoughts arise in mind. And all the thoughts disappear in mind. For example, like the ocean. You have seen the ocean. There are waves there in the ocean. They have separate names, wave and ocean. But the waves are made of water. The waves, they arise in the water of the ocean. And they subside into the water of the ocean. They themselves have never been separate from the ocean, the waves. Like this analogy, your mind has thoughts, but the thoughts are not other than mind. They arise, what arises, arises in mind. But what dissolves, dissolves in mind. Look how it happens, watch. When we meditate like that now, mind meditating on mind, our mind it, you need to see its insubstantiality. We call that emptiness, the meaning of this, what it is. Then, the mind himself it. <clears throat> when you look at the sky, <clears throat> when you look up at the empty sky, <clears throat> you don't actually see anything called sky. <clears throat> you actually don't see a thing that is sky. Like this analogy, when mind looks at itself, when the mind sees itself, it doesn't find a thing there that you can point out and say, it is this, the mind. Empty like the sky it is, mind seeing itself. The thoughts arise in emptiness as emptiness. Salopa said, when you see your mind with your mind, you don't see anything there. That is what is meant by emptiness, that no thingness.
now, right now, and always continuously. You need to know to keep returning the attention of your mind to your mind. That is meditation. Then you are. There are other lamas, scholars, like this around. When you are able to get teachings from them, listen well to those teachings. thoughts themselves. They arise as dharmakaya, in dharmakaya. You need to recognize this about them while they happen. Your own minds, Buddha nature. It is the not recognizing of this. If you, that keeps it is the not recognizing of this that traps you. It is the not seeing of the thoughts as the dharmakaya in their moment of arising that traps you. For all thoughts by their nature are of emptiness in emptiness. And you will only come to truly understand this by your own practice of meditation. That's really what it is, a simple thing. You need to practice it. If you have questions arising out of your meditation practice of this practice, then now you can ask. <coughs> um, sometimes you hear the instruction Like uh, to look uh, at the thought, or or maybe at the subject. At the what? The the subject. Subject. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like object, subject, object. Like to look uh, to yourself, you know, when yes. the thought arises. But that in itself is like an action. So like, you understand what I'm trying to say? No. Like, um, you hear all this about non-action, like non-meditation, but then you hear the instruction to look at the thought mm -hmm. when it arises. Well, you first have to get meditation before you can step past it. But let me translate for you. Thank you. Thank <coughs> Gam to Tetsi Zogundure. Tene Zom Zo Kariji. There's a doing first. You need to do the doing in order to understand how to transcend the doing. It is the looking at the mind of the action of meditation from which the understanding of what is meant by non-meditation will arise. If you don't go through the steps of practicing meditation, you will know the words but not clearly perceive your own mind's dharmakaya nature as it is. Mm -hmm. 
prayers that His Holiness often uses is that he says, for as long as space remain, may I too remain. And also I, I read somewhere, for as long as space remains, sentient beings will remain. So I'm confused about space and mind. Mm -hmm. Some some taken do. De second do now kala katsare tu katsare dena ngala degi semche tamche ropa zogi. Mm. Uh tene morang second do na tu song de now kala tu katsare yuna tene semche yuri. Mm -hmm. Uh te naunka tungba dang sem Kari semre kari naunka tungba re te ati kakare chikpare dinga apu tuk mio. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> naunka, naunka tungba te as far as space mm -hmm. it goes, <inaudible> space is empty and vast. The mind then is also empty and vast. But in the empty sky there arise clouds. You think of clouds as being a thing in the sky. When you see mind, it is like the sky, but your mind is thinking thoughts. The thoughts are no more real and separate than the clouds. Like the clouds in the sky that are not solid things, that are part of the spaciousness of the sky. In the mind's spaciousness, in its insubstantiality, the thoughts, you cannot find a single solid thing about them. Mind is much like the sky in its vastness, in its infinitude. And all beings have mind. All beings have Buddha nature. When you do your practice, you will see how dharmata and mind are the same. Um, I wanted to ask about an obstacle to the practice and how we can overcome the can desire you? to want to be in the nature of mind, a kind of clinging idea, I want to be in the nature of mind, and that being an obstacle, and also the obstacle of judging, so thinking, am I in mm. the nature of mind, am I not? How can we deal with those obstacles? Natsu gum mumbozona, Natsu gum big gasari, Natsu sem kasem mo katana de riwa yuri. Titets a dochakri, gum kadochak, riwa, riwa chambo ungiri, and de riwa chambo katits a parchiri. Tene de parchila, kari pingiri. The way a big wish for something like this is in your way. It's not the same as when you are having attraction to watch videos or do other things. When you are attached to meditating, to seeing your mind. It is not as much of a hindrance. When you think I'm going to meditate, I'm going to look at my mind, 
hit as if I will lose it. That's a little bit a useful thing to be thinking. I didn't ask the second part of your question. Tene kuran jisa niyu. Di nipari. Tene gam zogundu. Tune gundu. Tene sam sam nanto mambo ngunu. Ni gam yapore tiring. Dukchari tiring. Di drum and drum mambo ngundu. Gam yapona tene gasari. Ni gam yapo in tiring sumna tene gasa chambora yungere. Ni gam du poin tering sumna tene dunga ungere. Nde yon parti chikre kari bengere. Just see that that one that's thinking this is I'm doing well, I'm doing bad, that's doing the judgments, all those judgments. That's mine doing that. Now, in the moment of meditation, you have to set aside the big desire and trying that arises. You have to leave things as they are and stop trying to fix it. When, uh, when we were practicing, as uh, Rinpoche said, like with mind looking at the mind, um, there is a, like a moment uh, where it seems that this is what is happening, but uh, suddenly this is forgotten, and uh, it's like someone is looking to something, and uh, like. So I understand like mind looking at the mind is just one thing, doing nothing, just resting and seeing what's happening. And, uh, but this is not what happens all the time. So suddenly it shifts to someone looking at, oh, I'm thinking again. And it seems like uh, this is recognized after it's happening. So like thoughts are taking the... Uh, Mm. Driving the the meditation. Morang second do. The morang gum treat a look as she gum gum zogan do. Therefore, me mare. Morang said into Nasan Sam gum dena and demore. Tinny Nala Namto Yungere. Nga gum digging, Nga sem kasem tagging. De Sunja Mamongere. Tene te te de sumja ka gammare, kari pingere. When you're meditating, and the thoughts I am meditating, that separation starts to happen. You have to see that that itself is also meditation. You see, the thought that thinks you are meditating or you're not meditating, you are this or you are that, that very thought is arising in mind made of mind.
Are you satisfied? Yeah, yeah very much. Then let us together make a wish path. Chi Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you can offer katas. Oh, okay. If you practice tonight and you have questions tomorrow, come find me around eleven a.m. Here. Up at the caves. Okay. Thank you. We won't bother him two days in a row. Yes. But if you practice tonight, you might have some questions happen. 